Hi, this is Matt from the Aerobotech Training Center, and this video is going to be a demonstration of how you can use API calls within Power Automate and the extension kit uh, to bring Unit 4 ERP information into an Excel spreadsheet and indeed to create information in Unit 4 ERP from that spreadsheet. In this first example, the URL assigned to the Get Courses button will trigger a Power Automate flow which performs a Get request on the Attribute Values object to get a list of training course attribute values that have been updated in the last month. The Power Automate flow will pass the response and fill the table with each value it finds. Using this information, we can copy the attribute ID and description from one of the courses and paste it into the next sheet. The URL assigned to the Get Trainee Info button will pass the ID through to Power Automate. This will complete another API request, which will get the list of trainees from the FlexiField table linked to the chosen attribute value. Again, the table will be populated with the values in the response. The next step is to create a customer for each of the trainees. A webhook URL is assigned to the Create Customers button. This will trigger an extension kit flow. Extension kit will take the values from each trainee line, make amendments to some values using its liquid scripting function, and then make a post request to the customer's API endpoint with all the customer information. During that same extension kit flow, a patch request will be made to the attribute values object to update the booking status of each trainee and to change the attribute value status to closed. Those customers will have gone into workflow for approval. We can trigger an API GET request to the workflow transactions objects to find any customers with an ID beginning with EK to see if the customers have been created properly. And if we look in the system, we can see those customers as active items awaiting approval. Finally, we can trigger Power Automate to run a GET call against the customer's object and apply filters to return only those customers with an ID beginning with EK. Note the course attribute value has been entered into the customer record to link the two elements together. 